Hi, I'm Mark Bryant. Welcome to Big South 90, presented by Pepsi. The best of Big South sports in 90 seconds. And it is March, so let the madness begin. The Big South men's and women's basketball champions learned their NCAA tournament matchups earlier this week. Gardner-Webb's men will open in Columbia, South Carolina with Virginia on Friday, while Radford's women will travel to College Park to take on Maryland on Saturday. In other postseason basketball news, a record total of six men's basketball teams will appear in the postseason. Campbell, which earned the league's automatic bid into the NIT, saw Chris Clemens reach third on the NCAA career scoring list, but fell in the first round to UNCG on Tuesday. Longwood hosts Southern Miss in the CBI first round, while Charleston Southern, Hampton, and Presbyterian will all participate in the CIT. On the women's side, High Point will visit Ohio in the WNIT, while Campbell and UNC Asheville will play in the WBI. Quick spring sports update, the number 24 ranked High Point women's lacrosse squad posted a 13-10 victory over nationally ranked Johns Hopkins last week. And in softball, ESPNU will televise USC Upstate at Longwood Sunday afternoon at 4. The postseason continues tonight on ESPN Plus with Longwood's first ever Division I postseason tournament appearance against Southern Miss in the CBI, while UNC Asheville will host App State in the WBI first round. Gardner-Webb opens its NCAA tournament campaign on True TV on Friday, while Radford's Saturday matchup with the Terps will be on ESPN2. Enjoy all that tournament action, and we'll see you here next week. This is the Pepsi for serious fans and serious eats. This is the Pepsi for Sundays at the ballpark and days off at your favorite pizza joint. Right, Aaron? The best slice in New York. Whatever you're craving, this is the Pepsi for you.